Hi guys, it's Jean here and welcome to my channel. So Australia is a couple of days away from end of winter, so it's time for winter favourites. Let's go! So for the past three months, I've kind of been at home hibernating. Um, Melbourne is known for our extreme weather, so one minute it could be warm and sunny and next minute it could be extreme winds, raining um, and really cold. But there's still no snow because I don't know why, unless you go up to the mountains or something like that. Um, but yeah, so I've been home a lot. Um, I'm lucky to be able to work at home most days as well. Um, had a few things going on. I wouldn't say it was um, my greatest um, time. I um, had a few things going on which kind of brought me on a downer side a lot. So that's why I just didn't really want to leave the house. Um, but it just meant that, you know, I did a, little, a lot of window, like online browsing online and bought a few stuff as well. So I've got um, kind of like a mixture of stuff to show you guys. So I'm going to start off with makeup and skincare. Um, again, if you hear any snoring, do apologize. It's Coco taking his morning nap. Um, but yeah, so the first thing I wanted to show you guys is this lip ointment. And this is the Lip Ease um, ointment by Heron. Um, I think this has actually been repackaged because I remember using this a while ago and I absolutely loved it. I don't know why I stopped. Maybe because I don't really use much balm, but if I was to use a balm, I prefer using this one. Um, actually, my girlfriends and I caught up once and were talking about because she had chapped lips and one of our guy friends said to, you know, use this um, Lippies product. So we Googled it and I realized this is actually a product I've used previously, but it's been repackaged. Um, what I love about this ointment, I think I prefer this better than pawpaws because this has like a peppermint, um, kind of like a tingle to it, which I really like because it kind of feels medicated, but it feels really nice and refreshing on the lips. So I've been using this a lot. It's quite easy and quite affordable as well. So I love that to keep your lips nice and soft. Um, another lot of makeup products that I've been trying out and I've been loving are these, um, these are eyebrow peels. Um, this is a Korean beauty brand. This is by Etude House. Um, I've got two here because, long story short, I've been wanting to try this because I am, I won't say I'm lazy, but I don't like spending a lot of time doing things. So I thought I'll get these on just like regular days so I can just like put it on every couple of days rather than putting it on every day in the morning, which I don't really put makeup on anyway. But I thought if I do this, if there was one part of makeup that I would prefer to wear, it would be eyebrows because even if you're not wearing any makeup, I feel like you're slightly more completed or refreshed by putting nice eyebrows on. Um, so I bought this. The first one I bought from online was actually a Sydney um, beauty concept store I think called what's it called blush cosmetics so I purchased this one which I was actually really really angry about well not rank really not really angry but I was really upset about because um, Sydney is really not far it's like the next state from Melbourne and there was an option for normal delivery or standard delivery and I thought you know what, I'll just pay for standard delivery because it's only like a dollar something more which should have come within literally like two, three days max. And it didn't even get shipped till three days. So I was really angry, even though it's like that dollar. It's a whole principle of things. If you're going to advertise um, express shipping, make sure, you know, you get it done. So I've been messaging them, haven't got any replies. So I actually went through PayPal to dispute it, um, which they were in my favor because it... At the end of that, it took like over like a few weeks or so. So I actually got a refund back from this, um, which was good. And then it ended up getting delivered anyway, like a month later. So anyway, so I got that. But I, in the meantime, during the whole thing, I actually bought another one from Yes Style because I just couldn't wait any longer. So I've got two different ones. One of it is actually a khaki color. I don't know why I got khaki, but I did. And the other one is kind of like a, like a brown. I wouldn't say, this says gray brown. I don't know, but I've been actually, I wouldn't, I don't actually mind this, <clears throat> but I actually don't mind this, like, I, because I got this one first, I tried this one on, and the only thing is, it's a little bit hard to apply, because it is like a peel off, which means it's kind of like, it kind of reminds me of eyelash glue, it's a little bit glucky, um, so it's kind of hard to apply, especially, I find it, because of the way I hold the brush, especially on the left eyebrow, it's a little bit harder. And it's a little bit glucky, so you kind of have to move it around. But what I love about these are that, you know, you have to wait 
probably best to leave it overnight or so um, more than two three hours and then you just peel it off and the eyebrows last for up to like three or four days these are amazing and then when I got this I was a bit iffy because I didn't realize I bought a khaki one thinking I don't want green eyebrows but after you put it on these ones I think actually a bit better because the gray brown seemed a little bit darker on my eyebrows this one kind of fit in perfectly um, it's not too khaki actually it's kind of like a nice top kind of gray um, brown um, so yeah so I love these if you are a lazy person and you just cannot be bothered putting makeup on during the week but you want some kind of something to make it look good then I recommend these because you know these last for about at least two days two or three days which is good and if you actually look after it or when you wash your face you don't full-on scrub your eyebrows and they could last a little bit longer so this is good Moving on to some skincare products. So another thing I brought from Yes Style because you know if you're gonna buy one thing, you might as well buy another one to make up your shipping. Um, which I don't actually know if there was shipping fee. I think maybe it was free. Anyways, so I also picked up this Snail Bee High Content Essence. Um, this is also from Yes Style um, Korean Beauty, which. Um, I don't know why, like, I thought, you know what snail be? I've heard a lot of good things about snail essences, so I thought I would give this a go. Um, I wasn't sure, it is an essence, but I wasn't sure how to use it. So what I do is I use this as a serum, and what I love about this is that it's water-based. So when you apply it on your hand, it's kind of like a nice gel kind of um, serum it's like jellyish but then when you put it on your face it just dissolves into water and I love this because it's very lightweight easy to apply and it doesn't make your face feel like you've got a film of um, oil so by saying that I've got another favorite I want to kind of touch up on and that's this Swiss Argan face oil um, this one I bought recently uh, when Priceline had their 40% off skincare products um, so I bought this one because I have used argan oil previously and if there was an oil I would prefer, I would prefer argan oil, especially um, better than rosehip oil in my opinion. Rosehip oil is kind of like more, the ones I've used are more of like a yellow tinge to it and it kind of, I, don't, I feel like that, that kind of stays a bit because um, I definitely know it's harder to wipe off on a kitchen, on a bathroom bench. So. Um, it does kind of stay and it has more of this funny smell. I prefer using argan oil because it seems a lot cleaner to apply. And especially in winter, my the around here gets really dry and flaky, like along the T-zone. But more here gets really flaky. So what I do is I like applying argan oil. But sometimes, like, you know, we put it on before the bed. I roll around a lot, so I don't want to get it all over my bed sheets. Um, which is why I think this is perfect because it dries up within a few seconds. It's really easy to apply and, you know, you don't feel like it's going everywhere. So now what I do, because I get extremely dry spots, is I put argan oil on just mainly on the bits that need extra care. And then I use this um, around everywhere else. And I just kind of lather it. You don't have to, but I just love kind of lathering because it kind of gives you like a really cool feeling when you apply it. And the next day, oh, it feels so soft and I extremely love this. Talking about argan oil, one that I didn't think I would like, but surprisingly I quite like quite a lot. And that is this Lush Rose Argan Body Conditioner from Lush. You just have the shivers. So this was actually a gift from my girlfriend for my birthday. Um, I don't normally use a lot of bath products. Um, I normally just use like shower gel and you know shampoo and stuff. But I don't really do all the extra stuff. Um, only because like I just always forget and stuff like that. So I've got a whole lot that my girlfriend's got me for my birthday. So I thought I would go through it considering that I'm kind of going through all my... You know when you start collecting little bits of shampoo, like you know it's shampoo, like soaps here and there. But you've got all these soaps piled up. And I was running out of bath gel, so I thought, you know, I'll just use them all off. And sometimes, some of them, I don't moisturize a lot, but my skin is usually fairly smooth. But I feel like after you've showered, you've got that kind of tacky, kind of dry feeling. So I started using this with it, and I absolutely love it. What I don't like about body lotion is when you have a bath or shower, and you come out, and you dry yourself, and then you put it on. You've got to wait a few minutes, because otherwise it just feels really, like, tacky and sticky with the lotion. I personally don't like it um, but what I love about this is that it is an in shower kind of lotion so after you've um, showered yourself you just put this all over your body let it sit for a bit and then just like you know rinse it slightly and just kind of tap it off and what I think what I love about the, the most is its smell it smells so nice 
Mm, I don't know how to describe it. Like this says that it has um, argan oil, co cocoa butter, um, Brazilian nut oil, oil, almond oil, and shea butter. But it smells like it's got this really nice tropical kind of smell to it. And it's like really nice and refreshing. So moving on to other stuff, what I've been loving this winter, I've been drinking a lot, a lot of tea. Um, I've always kind of liked tea, especially like fruit teas. Um, it's quite refreshing, but I always have like, you know, either a cup or two. But lately, this whole winter, I've been drinking like jugs of like tea. Um, only because I've been trying to work on my diet um, and also reduce the amount of sugar. So if you notice, I think from my light and easy posts that I did, um, I try to find ways to reduce the sugar because I don't mind drinking water. I think lately I've been drinking more water because I'm more thirsty, but I'm not really a water drinker. Like I wouldn't say I drink more than a liter a day. I'll probably drink less than that. So finding ways to kind of drink and stay hydrated. I've been drinking a lot of tea, um, especially like green tea or stuff like that. But I guess since I was on light and easy, um, I was craving juice because I love, love, love juice. But because it still has a lot of fructose sugar in it, I try to reduce it. So I end up drinking stuff like um, peach flavor tea and stuff like that where it was all natural. Um, and because I have like a whole cupboard full of tea, I thought I would use that where I currently have. So I've been drinking especially these tea. Um, these are called, I don't know where these are from. These are organic English tea shop tea. Um, I actually bought these a few years ago. I don't even know if tea expires, but I bought these a few years ago from La Manor. Um, I think it's in Essendon or something, but if you live around that area, I strongly recommend it. It's a really nice kind of like a, like a, like a, I think a private supermarket. It's like, I'm not sure, but they have really nice like cakes and stuff like that. Um, but I bought these a while ago because this is the green tea and pomegranate and this is the honey bush acai berry punch. Um, what I love about these tea is that they're, oh, this one's finished, that they're kind of like individual packaging, but the tea bag, there seems to be, I don't know, I find that there's more tea in it. So this, I use this in like one big pot of tea and it's usually like, you know, perfect. Um, I like my tea, um, kind of really light. Um, I don't like it too strong, but this, this is perfect for a pot. Usually if I was making a pot, I put two tea bags in, but this is one's enough. Um, but yeah, so I've been loving this. It's kind of like, it's kind of like drinking water, but it's got this little subtle taste of like, you know, fruits and stuff in it. So it's quite nice and easy to drink. Um, I would make a pot because I don't like hot tea either. Um, I'm, I have a phobia of like getting like my tongue burnt. So I always make a pot in the morning and then throughout the day, once it's cool, just drink it. Um, but yeah, so I've been loving tea. Now moving on to the rest of the stuff is mostly, mostly accessories. Winter is like accessories, accessories, accessories. I love applying layers, layers and layers, um, especially when it's like freezing cold. Um, so the first thing is obviously my scarf. I am a big hoarder when it comes to accessories because there's no, I guess, size limit. Um, I could from belts obviously but there's no real size limits when it comes to accessories like you don't have to feel self-conscious in case it doesn't fit accessories is kind of like my used to be my go-to um so i've collected a whole lot of stuff which i'm actually going to do a declutter of accessories to get rid of it and try to minimize it to one so this has been my go-to scarf um i purchased this i think maybe two years ago now when kyung and i went to tasmania or oh, i did do a um a like a video on that so i'll post a link below because it's been two years now but i absolutely love tasmania so check that out but i've got this scarf this is uh, made out of merino wool which is really nice and the scarf itself it's an infinity scarf and it's really nice and slinky and really soft i was actually supposed to find something i was actually going to find something similar for my girlfriend for her birthday but i couldn't find one as um soft and slinky as this but anyways i absolutely love it I mean, i'm pretty sure you can get it at other places but tasmania is known for their merino wool so this was a good purchase when i bought it there and i love it because it's the perfect length it's nice size and it just keeps me really nice and warm and because it's gray and white knitty it kind of just goes with everything so this has been my go-to scarf for literally the past two years i've stopped wearing all the other ones this is like the only one that i wear now
Another bunch of accessories that I've been loving, which I I think I've been wearing a lot more this year compared to other in the other years, are uh, beanies. Um, I <laughs> I don't like to. I try to wash my hair every couple of days because I've been go not going out a lot. Um, I kind of wash my hair. I know this sounds bad, but like I tr wash it like maybe once or twice a week um, depending on whether I'm going out anywhere or anything like that and in between if I do have to step out to go to the doctors to go grocery then I just kind of chuck a beanie on um, and yeah and I've actually got a lot of beanies because I've been really obsessed about beanies as well so the first one um, which you've probably seen in my blogs is this beanie this is um, the Carrie Bickmore so Carrie Brick Bick Ugh, what's her name Carrie Bickmore is an Australian um, she's not really an actress she's more of like a like a host um, like a person, like a personality, celebrity personality. I don't know what to call it. Anyway, so she she actually came up with these. But she comes up with beanies every year to support brain cancer because her previous husband or partner um, passed away from brain cancer. So she has um, done a lot in raising money for research for brain cancer. So every year or so, she comes out with a range of beanies. And can want to get last year, but we just missed it because it was sold out. So we made sure we bought one this year. Um, I've been looking for a beanie anyway. And I kind of wanted one this style with a little puffy thing on top. So it's a good thing that she bought this out. And I love this. Like, this is such a good fit. I was worried because I have such a big head that beanies don't really fit properly. But this is actually quite nice. So I really like this beanie. I've been uh, wearing this a lot. Um, also, my brother went to UK um, during the start of winter and got came back with a whole lot of supreme beanies. Um, I know these are really hard to get. Supreme is just really hard to get. Like, did you see the LV Supreme collab? Like, that was gone in, like, minutes. So, um, I was lucky. So, he was lucky enough to get us three because I think the time he was in the London store, they just released new stock. Um, so, he went and bought, like, a whole lot of different colours. So, Kang ended up getting the green, the blue one. I got a pink one. And my mum, he also got some for my parents. So my dad got a brown one and my mum got a black one. But my mum doesn't really wear beanies. And so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to borrow it. So that's why I've got three of them. Um, it's kind of weird because if you see us all wearing it, you probably think that, you know, a bunch of Asians wearing Supreme, they're definitely fake. But it's just funny. So anyway, so these ones are the ones he got from the London store, which I think it's really nice. Like... I'm not, I try not to be um, into fads and labels, but I have noticed this past winter I've been kind of more of a label person. Um, I don't really often, I really like it. I wear this a lot at home, but I don't know whether I'm comfortable. I've worn it out a couple of times, maybe two times, but I just feel like my head's a weird shape to wear like these style beanies. Um, but yeah, so these are really nice and warm as well. Another bunch of accessories are also shoes. Um, I am definitely a shoe, well, I was a shoe person, which now that I realise I don't really wear much shoes, so I'm actually trying, especially heels. I feel like I've stopped wearing heels or downgraded them. Um, but I've been really into sneakers and flats, so my next sort of my next favourite are these um, sneakers. These are the Stan Smith Velcros. Now, they look like I've had them for years because they're kind of dirty, kind of worn, but I have really wide feet, so it's really hard to find slip, um, sneakers or like just shoes in general but what I love about these are the Velcros they're so cool they've been out of stock in Australia for a while so when I saw them online I just had to hit it up and get it I am the most laziest person when it comes to lace up shoes some of my shoes my old shoes I've actually super glued like usually I just do it really loosely and then super glued it so I don't have to worry about it some of the sneakers like my Yeezy ones I still have the original dead stock like lace um kind of tie up so that's how lazy i am when it comes to it but what i love about these there's no laces at all and it's perfect all you have to do is slip it on and just like velcro it it's like really easy um they're quite fashionable as well they go with pretty much everything um like i said they look a bit worn out because i have wide feet but um, they're quite comfortable, which I really, really love as well. Now, moving on to another bunch of shoes. Um, recently, I came across... A, actually, my girlfriend told me about this um, shoe shop, um, shoe online place in UK called Ego Shoes. Um, we're just looking at like shoes because I, I really like the Gucci loafers. I think they're really nice and fashionable, but it's not something that I want to pay like six, seven hundred dollars for. Um, 
something like that so I came across this website that has really affordable shoes ego shoes um they're really nice but I was a bit worried you know what if they're really cheap or they smell like fake leather and things like like fake leather and things like that and my girlfriend bought a few pairs and told me that they were okay they weren't some of them weren't exactly comfortable so it's kind of like a hit and a miss um so I've been kind of Iring and ifing like all winter but I was like you know what let's just go for it because I had like a sale it was like 10, 10 pounds for like shoes so I thought since you know I don't normally like well that's a bit of a lie I don't mind getting replicas but um I try not to because you know I think it's better if you get originals but you know what for something that is like a trend thing which I don't think it will last long I don't mind so I ended up buying these two pairs of slip-on loafers they look similar to the Gucci ones um I only bought these because they were like about 10 10 pounds um each and I think after exchange rate and shipping it ended up being like 20 bucks each which I think in my opinion was quite good and I've seen a lot of reviews online saying that they're quite good I was worried about the smell that they'll be quite plasticky kind of smell but when I got these it was actually surprisingly the quality is quite good um, I've worn these um, around the house mostly because I haven't been out much but um, they're quite comfortable like it is kind of like a really nice firm pleather I don't think obviously these aren't like leather I don't think but it's a really nice like thick kind of like pleather kind of feel um they're really nice um the only thing different like I said they look similar to Gucci but obviously like the these buckle things these horse what do you call these things I don't know but they're kind of like different um but I think they're just really nice to play around with and I've been loving those whole embroidery so that's why I bought a pair of these ones and since I was on the website make the most out of shipping I thought I'll get another pair which are these ones which are a lot similar to their fur loafers that Gucci has there is a slight difference so this one isn't all the way it's kind of just on the bottom so when you wear it you only really see the side which is quite good and it's quite warm to wear in um winter I know in winter I wear a lot of clothes shoes but because it has fur in it I feel like it'll keep it warm a bit um the other thing I'm worried about because I do kind of get ex like sweaty feet is that whether it will smell over time but you know what they were quite affordable so even if I only wear this this season I'm okay with that and the last favorite I wanted to share is actually this leather jacket um, I have been, every year I kind of go through a stage where I think, should I get one? Should I not get a leather jacket? Because leather jackets are kind of like, you know, it's essential to have in your wardrobe, I think. Um, it's a really nice piece. I've been kind of holding off because, I don't know why, like sometimes I'll be like over it by the end of the season. But like this season I thought, you know what, I actually was thinking about splurging and buying the leather jacket that will last me through years. Like you know in the 80s how like you buy leather jackets and my mum still has, like my dad still has their what they had in the 80s that's how um good quality it is so i was actually going to spend money to actually get a good one but then i thought about it like i think boohoo had like a 40 percent or sale but i thought you know what since i'm always considering every year whether i should get one maybe if i, sh I should see if i would wear it first before i consider splurging on one so boohoo was having a sale and the only thing i was worried about buying cheaper pleather like fake leather jackets is the quality of it whether it's too plasticky and whether it will smell so i was kind of worried but I thought you know what the style was kind of okay boohoo had a 40% off so I might as well get it so I'm not picking this up for like about $40 um, which is quite good and another thing about leather jackets as well is I'm always worried about sizing I have reached a size 16 which I know like I'm kind of slightly embarrassed about but you know what accept it girl I am now you know a plus size so I think by saying that I feel slightly more comfortable in shopping um, especially online and I bought this one because it was quite a good size and I was worried even getting it whether it would fit because sometimes online stores kind of like size down so I was kind of worried so when I got this I was actually quite happy with it it fits perfectly the sleeves are a little bit long but I think this is perfect like the leather isn't too bad it looks quite soft like a lambskin leather um, but I really like it. So this is what it looks like. Let me just step back a bit. It's like a nice kind of biker jacket, which is really nice. Um, but the sleeves, like I said, it's a bit long, so I'll probably just tuck it in. But I think it's like a really nice standard, like basic biker jacket, just for me to kind of play around with, to see if I would wear it a lot. And if I do, and this ends up, um, you know, getting a bit run down, then I might splurge and get a proper leather jacket. And um, this one is good because it's got kind of like some quilting 
on the shoulders and stuff as well so I think it's really nice um, I'm thinking about doing some lookbooks taking like designer expensive clothes and kind of doing a lookbook with like alternate budget version so let me know what you think but yeah I kind of like this leather jacket oh almost forgot another last favorite accessory that I've been loving is this backpack um, this is the, I don't know how to say, is it a Silent J? Is it Fajol? Is it Fall Raven? Fajol Raven? I don't know, but this is the Kankin bag, um, which I've kind of seen a lot of people have. Um, it's kind of like a, I guess, an it thing. Um, I like it because basically for work, I have a laptop that I use for work. And I because I don't, I don't know whether I'm going to be working at home or in the office, I carry my laptop around with me. Um, and it's really, when I was carrying my, um, what you call it, the long champ bag, it was good. But then I was carrying my lunch bag and I was carrying my laptop. And I had all these bags. So I thought, you know what, let's just bunch it all into one and get an actual backpack. So I ended up picking this up um, through Iconic Store online because I had, I think, a 20 or 30% discount. So I thought, you know, this is perfect. This is originally, I think, 120 or stuff um, online through the Iconic, and I ended up getting it for $100. Um, the good thing about it is that it has a lot of different colors and sizes, like a lot of different a whole lot of different colors, but I like the bigger one because it fits my laptop in perfectly and there's also room for lunch snack 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 umbrella and all these other stuff so I kind of look like a school kid carrying this to work but you know what it's efficient it works and it looks great so I absolutely love it I might do like a review on this later on but yeah so that is all of my favorites not sure whether this is long or short but I hope you enjoyed this video if you do please give me a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to watch more thanks for watching bye Bye.